Hello guys, I'm your host Pradeep. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the evil empire. Yes, you have guessed it right. I'm referring to the British Empire. Before starting, a small disclaimer. If I mention British, that means British Empire and not British people. So, let's get to it. Great Britain made its first effort to establish overseas settlement in 6th century, which was mainly driven by commercial ambitions and to get an edge above their rival France. For starters, British colonized in two different ways. One, the settler colony, in which the British settled down and eventually overtook the natives, such as in Americas. Second one is economic colonization, in which British did not overtook the native but used or in real term, looted their resources to enrich their homeland, such as in Africa and India. In 1606, the English crown, James I, granted a charter to the Virginia Company to establish colonies in North America. This led to the founding of Jamestown in 1607. The primary motivation for the Virginia Company were economical. They hoped to find gold and other valuable and also want to establish trade relations with the natives. Well, it's not gone as planned. The colony faced numerous challenges like harsh conditions, disease and conflict with the natives. However, with the introduction of tobacco cultivation, the colony began to thrive economically. This economical success encouraged further colonization effort by the English. Over the next century, additional English colonies were established along the eastern seabed of North America. Over time, tension between the British colonists and the British monarchy grew, leading to the American Revolution which ultimately resulted in 13 colonies declaring independence from British in 1776, which became modern-day United States of America, while some remain loyal to the monarchy like Canada. Colonization of Africa Driven by economic interest, British started to colonize Africa in 16th and 17th century. British traders established trading posts along the African coast. These ports served as a basis for conducting trade of gold and slaves. British established several trading companies in the 17th century, such as the Royal African Company and the British South Africa Company. These companies helped British to get significant control and influence over the region. The formal colonization of Africa began in 19th century. During the period, European power, including Britain, started to establish formal control over the African territories. The Berlin Conference in 1884 divided Africa among European powers. The Britain obtained various regions including present-day Egypt, Kenya, Nigeria, South Africa, Zimbabwe and others. British used their military and alliance with the local rulers to establish their authority. British also employed a policy of indirect rule where they would maintain existing local power structure and rulers but with British oversight and control. The impact of World War II played a significant role in the decolonization of Africa. Rise of nationalism and independent movement resulted in the African countries getting independence from the British and other European powers. Colonization of India Queen Elizabeth I granted charter to British East India Company in 1600. The company gradually expanded its influence over India. The Battle of Plassey in 1757 marked a turning point in British control over India, where British East India Company defeated the last independent Nawab of Bengal, Sirajud Dhaul. Followed by Indian rebellion against the East India Company in 1857, British government assumed direct control over India. This marked the beginning of British Raj. During this period, Indian subcontinent economically exploited to its knees. Over the time, exploitation and discriminatory policies of British Raj sparked a strong independent movement in India. Following World War II, Indian independence movement gained momentum. In 1947, India achieved independence from British rule. However, the country was partitioned, leading to the creation of separate nations of India and Pakistan, which resulted in widespread violence and mass migration. Until the end of Britain's colonial history, it was already conducted numerous genocides, exploitation, abuses and whatnot around the world. Let's discuss that in another video. So that's it for today guys, hope you learned something. 
एंड बाय बाय डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब